All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with another unboxing video, this time of the Logicool K400R wireless touch keyboard. Yeah, I had, had to read it all, it's a bit of a mouthful. And uh, I'm really excited about this keyboard and uh, I'll get into why here in a bit, so stay tuned for the unboxing. Okay, so uh, in Japan, the, uh, Log the Logitech brand, which you guys might be familiar with with the little logo and stuff, is called Logicool. I guess I don't know why, but uh, that's just how it is. And I got this keyboard for about 45, 50 bucks, I think. I'll have to look at the receipt to be sure. But uh, one of the reasons I got it was, in, you know, not just because of its small size, but it also has the uh, the Japanese characters, as you can see here, as well as its own little built-in mouse, so you can do touch things and you know stuff like that with it. So I thought that was pretty cool. You know, for when I'm editing videos and stuff like that, and I don't want to be like right up on the screen, so I thought that was really neat. And uh, yeah, before we open this bad boy, we'll do the usual uh, unboxing deal and look at the box, you know, from all angles. So this is the first angle, front, very front of the box. And like I said, I'll zoom in here manually. <laughs> you know, so you can see all the little keys and stuff like that, and you know the hiragana and stuff like that on there. And the touchpad, and sorry about the uh, the little light right here in the, in the overhead. But, uh, anyway, uh, the K400R wireless touch keyboard. As you can see. And then from the top, not too much there. It's same, same thing, logical wireless touch keyboard, K400R. And a little picture of the keyboard itself. Then on the left side, we have, uh, I guess, what it looks like. Uh, from the left side, actually, so that's what the keyboard looks like. And then wireless touch keyboard, okay, from there. And then on the right side, same deal, but on the right side, <laughs> it's kind of weird. And from the from the bottom, we have you know, logical wireless touch keyboard for or K400R. Uh, it's USB uh, compatible for with uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows RT. And you can tell from the stickers there. So I apologize. This USB used. And a sticker and stuff like that. Then on the back, you have uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I can't I can't read Japanese yet. I can only read the English characters. So right here it says 10 meters. So I'm assuming that it's good for up to 10 meters. Uh, USB, the little USB dongle thing to do up right there. And then it responds to these kinds of commands for Windows 8, Windows RT. You know, like a little squiggle thing. You can do like up, down, left, right. You can do like little pinch things, I guess. Well, I'm not, that's maybe only like Windows 8, but uh, I'm not sure. But I have Windows 8, so it's all good. So, anywho, <laughs> enough blab blabbering and stuff like that. Let's open this bad boy. So I'll take it from the top. And keep in mind, folks, if you haven't tuned into my unboxing videos before, I am doing this all one-handed. And uh, this might be a bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Um, give me a sec here. Jeez. This is quite the uh, pesky little box. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Just a little tight is all. No worries. And we got some tape. Shit. Got some tape over here we gotta overcome. By ripping the shit out of it. <laughs> Should have brought a knife. Oh, well. We'll make do. We'll get things done. Oh, I'm gonna focus there for a sec. Yeah. Mer. Using brute force. Mm, yeah. Just rip the fucking shit out of the box. That's cool. That's why I have these, these unboxing videos, right? So that you can see the box before I utterly destroy it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll just get this final little corner here. It's not going down without a fight, is it? About ready to... Okay. Good lord. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Screw it. Uh, oh, but... Uh, okay, there we go. That goes from this side. Put some muscle into it. Oh, come on. Jesus. It's that one corner. I swear to God, the other corners weren't... Quite as bad. This one corner. 
will not give up the ghosts. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ripping the tape off. Just fucking the steel curtain. Yeah. Woo ha ha. Alright. Thanks for sticking in with me. You're not sticking in. <laughs> what am I saying? Alright. Enough weird talk. Let's open this bad boy. Oh, great. Now this video is going to get flagged. <laughs> Alright, so this is what the keyboard looks like. It's got the little plastic thing to do bop on it. So I'll give you a close up of the keys and all that jazz. There's a little draw pad right there. Anyway. Keys, keys are pretty responsive, but they don't have that click noise. Alright, so here's a little uh, USB dongle Madubop. Okay, so I guess with this, um, you can like charge it and stuff. That's pretty cool. So here's a little part one of the dongle. Let's that up to the side. And here, over here we have... Part two. So this is the uh, little wireless receiver, I guess. And you pl plug it into uh, this end here. And uh, yeah, cool. I guess that's how that. Oh, it's upside down. There you go. Yeah, I guess that's how that works. Neat. Put those to the side. Uh, let's see anything else in the little dongle madubop. Okay, so put the keyboard off to the side here so we can read the little insert key things of that nature. Um, it's just a little safety thing, a little, I guess, like tell us what you think card, like that. Put that off to the side. You got the, uh, the manual for the keyboard here. Pretty cool. And uh, I'm not sure what this is, maybe a warranty or something like that. You got that. Cool. About this side. There's the rest of the box. Now, the piece of resistance is the keyboard. Okay. This one will be a lot easier to open, I swear. <laughs> it's just a flap. So, yeah. Put that off the side. And you got the little. Um, what this is. is this? Got party things on it? Hmm. A little sticker. Hmm. That's cool. I guess it's part of the design. It's a nice sticker. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Oh, so nice text there. So, we'll get to that later. Alright, so here is the keyboard, what it looks like without the, the little plastic thing. Hear that? That's why I bought this keyboard. Also, the keyboards have that very plasticky click, that very chicklety click, or they have the little chicklet sound, and stuff like that. This one, it still kind of has it, but it's very, like, it's dulled. It's like an like that without hearing the so much i don't know it's just a little pet peeve of mine that's why i like uh, the logitech keyboards or logic cool excuse me i'm in japan so logic cool <laughs> so yeah um all kinds of cool stuff and if i want to write in japanese and stuff like that i can do it via this keyboard if that's my keyboard maybe <laughs> so then you got that i can mess around with the mice and stuff like that and i just freaking love the concept of this and it's not even that big like Okay, so just give you like a little size comparison here. We have a pen. Let me just put the pen up there for size comparison. We have. Um, I'm just grabbing random shit. So we have a pair of toenail clippers right there, just as a size comparison. Yeah, so like I said, not that big, but still. Uh, you can still get your hands around it, and even though it's a smaller keyboard, it doesn't really feel like a smaller keyboard, so that's cool. I like that. So yeah, this is the Andy song. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to my unboxing of the Logicool, it was in this Logitech back in the States, a wireless touch keyboard, K400R. I still have to read it so I can get the stats and stuff. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning into this video and my other stuff. I also want to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs. Commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.